Oh. Here's right again. Let's get one of these in. Loaded and ready. Sorry that the fridge gives on IPA, which is a shame to fancy a lager. Stinks behind that. It's gonna be tired. Ah, let's have a go. Another beer on, people. Welcome back to the channel. Five degrees straight out of the fridge. That's good. I'll be a bit heavy. First pour is always a little bit heavy. usually heady. What did I say this was? Golden Goose or something? IPA? I can't bloody remember. I'm doing it when I. Should we just get a head on the first one? I don't know what it was. Goose Medway Session IPA. I put that in the short call. Go down to 4 degrees. It's alright. It's nice and cold. Nice and cold. I hate this first pint out of these machines. It's nice, but well, I don't hate it. It's the um, it's the, the you guys get a bit of a head. Oh, that's better. End of the week, Friday. I'm in love. I better tie it up, tiny, 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 tidy up. I'll get through this glasses, I think. I'm gonna mess with some tomorrow. See if I can get rid of some of these glasses. The problem is, I've sorted my glasses out, and um, I want them all really. I need to stack them, I suppose. Start stacking them up on top of each other. Can you stack them on top of each other? They could get, get stuck, wouldn't they? I suppose you can. You can't gently, you can do it gently, you can. Be really gentle like that. No, the fosters don't. That's weird, a fosters. I didn't know that, but a fosters is not fit on a fosters. A hot goblin will fit on a fosters. I'm going to jam up. Anyway. Happy Friday, people. I wanted a lager. I've got two lagers in a special Euro 2024 deal. And I had some tokens, some credits. So I've got them. Harkbeck Pills, which is meant to be a Spanish, so I think Perv drafted them like a Spanish deal. And you better drop down a list. Pick anyone, any couple you want. I've got a big glass, I'll show you in a minute. I've got a big stain, a big, big, another glass. Where am I going to put that? And I've got that Mahu, Mahu. Mahu, 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 Maha, Mahu, Maha, Mahu. Top this up again. This is going down when we're ready. Top this up. I'll go and get that glass, I'll show you. I'll sit around the other. Your favourite seat around now, I think we'll have a chat. Can't sit around I'm going to clear some crap out of here. I've got my sunglasses. Right, let's go and get a glass, I'll show you. Right, I'm a back, I'm a back. Let's top this puppy up. Oh, my back's hurting now. That's the start, I'll show you that in a minute. That's the deal from Perfect Draft. Go four point. God, oh, let's sit up here. Right. Updates, don't turn off your computer. They always bloody update these computers. Not that I want to use it tonight. Oh, oh that's better. My back, my back is stressful. Oh, there it is. Look, hi, people. Welcome back to the channel. I've not been about a little while for, uh, for a little while down here, rather. Been away on another little holiday. Oh, I need a holiday to get over that holiday. 
Yeah, let me relax. I tried this with a few guys up in the bars. You probably saw the video clips earlier. I've got a lot of crap behind you, but I keep saying that. I'm not going to show you that. The picture I'm looking at now, look at this. Look, look at the slabbly, didn't it? It's all lit up. Pumps on, look. Backlights on. Strip, are the strip lights on? I did say put the strip lights on. Alexa, turn on the strip lights. Okay. That's third time now. She's a bit naughty. Those plugs are playing up a little bit. Um, ceiling lights are on. Happy days. My back. Oh, it's hurting. Shit. I'm going to have a little tidy up, I think. Tomorrow morning, I think I'll have a little tidy up. Get all my glasses. I might get all the glasses out of here in a pile and go through them. That's what I'm going to do, actually. Get a whole lot out on the patio if it's dry and then go through them all. I've got to be careful. I just want to have that dodgy beer in it. Wah. Go there. Right, cheers, people. So I've got Goose, Medway, whatever it is, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's not a bad job. I've had this before. It's a shame because I've had to log. I've been on holiday and I ripped the backside out the um the all inclusive the Estrella. And it was all I saw a proper Estrella truck pull up, but it just didn't taste. Bit, is that a dry beer? I'm not sure. That's not my choice of beer, to be fair. But I do drink anything, me. But when, when it's on tap, constant, constant, constant. They put these plastics, but you had to ask if it's indoors, you had to ask for in glass. They did that glass, that glass, and that, that glass, you know, and you had to say, look, I'm in a large glass. And I, I sent my um, daughter's boyfriend or my me, me sons that were there. I can sort of see their point of view now because if you get a pint glass, so many people are going mad. It's not so much people getting drunk. I really for instance, we watched one of the um, England games. And I realised that when the England game finished, everyone disappeared with their wives and that upstairs for dinner or out in the back for dinner. And I realised literally just people just got up and left their drinks. I mean, I did it a couple of times, you know. And can, I said to my sons or whatever, can you imagine if everyone had pints and pints and pints lined up and then suddenly like football finishes dinner or they all go to bed or whatever, bomb, and they just walk off and there's like six pints left. Where if they serve it in, say, a smaller cup, you know, a smaller glass or a cup, then at least you can go and get as many as you want. But at least when the, um, you know, you've got to go up, you, your summons, ding, 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 or the bell goes, whatever or football finishes, or whatever happens, you know, at least like five lads or five people get up, not just blokes, at least then um, you're only losing that much beer. So I think that's what, what it's all about. Anyway, I've got two deals, two two beers, not deals, I'm all itchy. I walked down the garden and there's ants at the top of the pail, there's ants down the bottom of the pail, flying ones, one went up the leg, and uh, I feel like I walked into cobwebs. It's always me, I'm out the door in the morning, the first one out the door in the morning, and obviously I'm the first one in here. And I always seem to get the cobwebs. I hate that. And in my car as well, I seem to walk in my car and get a cobweb. I hate that. And you can never get rid of... I feel like I've got to get me in under the set, but I'm not. I'm talking to you guys and girls. So anyway, welcome back to the channel. I've not done a little beer one. I was thinking about going live. It's Friday, so you probably see it's Friday because I'm only going to do a short video and I'm going to go and edit it. All the computers are rebooting up. I just flipped this on. Um, I don't know why. I'm not going to listen to any music. I've got to put the Bluetooth thing back in it. I'm a manic manic panic stations the other week and um, we had a party around in my friend's house and i'd take all my karaoke around there now i'm trying to get with the karaoke machine i put it all on usb stick i bought some software done it off a laptop and all that i couldn't find a lead from my laptop it's a mini usb i couldn't find this couldn't find, find that i ordered this i ordered the wrong thing all this oh it was so stressful i did it in the end it worked but unfortunately we had to leave the party a little bit earlier than i normally do because i normally go mad as one does and we had, that was on the Saturday, we had to leave a little bit early, so we had to get up at 4.35 to go to the airport to get the um, plane to Ibiza, which is brilliant. But that was nice, though, because I didn't go mad at the party. I left a bit early. I was really, I was a good boy, actually. I tell her, like, I came home and had a couple of beers down the bar, quite a couple of beers. I thought, I've had a beer now, but I wasn't driving in the morning, but I had a couple of beers. It helped me sleep a little bit. I had a nice kit up at, I think, half four or five in the morning. And it's light out. Uh, we had a... Um, Trans transport like minibus book to take all my family, me and my family to the airport, jumped on a plane and me and my old um daughter's boyfriend. Beers boys and it I be for plane. Glasses the I be for plane's all full of people like ready to party so I didn't feel out of place so and we was running a little tiny time, not late, but we just went straight for the airport, straight onto the plane, and off we went. So no stopping, no food or beer. At the airport, which was quite nice, really. It saved us a few quid and um, it, queuing at the food, etc. Just got a bit of food on the plane, that was handy. Black plane took off and then um, a couple of beers and a bit of food when we landed. Um, transport the other end, which was really, really nice. 
videos are available on my playlist if you're interested. I loved it. I've been loved. Never been there before. Highly, highly recommended. Gorgeous weather. A little bit, a few clouds here and there. We had, we had about an hour of rain, half an hour of rain, which was bloody lovely because we was in the pool. Cloud came over and it started raining. I think it was the second or third day. And um, I've had it before in New Yorker. Od odds and sods of it. It's not like cold. It's just a bit of rain come over. But it's lovely. Everyone just abandoned the ship. They all just run into the bar under the sh open bar, you know, with an open shelter. Look at the water, look at the rain come down. So it's free beer. It's just like, it's lovely. A little get together. I love it. I love it. I love a holiday. I love a holiday. Especially on the old plane now. I've gone abroad. Don't get me wrong. I've loved in UK holidays. Been to UK holidays all my life. But so uh, now we're a bit older, Jill and I. We just shoot off on a plane. And, um, anyway, what was I saying? Can't remember. This is updating like, in the background. Yeah, so very, very stressful at a party, getting the karaoke assaulters and all that. I'm trying to go to like a laptop based system. I only do it for fun. And because I've got the gear, I'll take remember it was houses. So uh, I'll get up early tomorrow and go and pick it up from a friend's house and take it to someone else's house because they're having a party tomorrow, a barbecue party, like an early one, lunch on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the weather's out, holds out. And um, so, yeah. I got some tokens just before I went, I think it was. Just was it before I went? Well, I got some credit and they emailed me and said, because I think they only run for a certain amount of time, the last couple of months. And uh, let's check in. The last couple of months. Like I'm not like, I can play on my phone and edit this. <laughs> if I was live, it'd be like a bit. But anyway, so yeah, the beers. The credits last couple of months, the email which said you've got some credits to the use up, blah, blah. And I think someone used my, um, what I'll do, I'll put a link below. If we all share the codes to each other, you'll get a, a couple of credits. You know. some, someone must have bought a machine and bought some beers. So I'd, I sent some kegs back and you get some beers for that. And I bought some more kegs and someone must have bought a machine through my, my code or something. Got money off, so I'll get a few credits as well. What's this computer doing behind me? It's looking very, uh, cleaning up, zero complete. It'll be very slow because it's connected to the Wi-Fi, hopefully. What is it? I don't know. No, it's not. So anyway, I had some credits to spend. I emailed me and said someone was going to run out, so I bought some kegs. Two kegs. The Mahu, Mahu, I think my mate said it was called. And the Hark something. They're both Spanish because of the, because of the Euros. Um, are they Spanish or are they German? Euros are in German? I don't know. Anyway, they're football kegs. Um... No, they are Spanish. So luckily, one just ran out. I think that was a butter just took out, and I put a Medway Goose, something Medway on there. IPA though. It's all right though. I fancy the log at night, but um, I only popped down for a bit. Thought I'd come and say hello. Um, so yeah, got another party tomorrow. Uh, at my age, you don't. Well, it's a barbecue party. It's a lunchtime onwards one, which is nice. I look forward to. So I didn't go out tonight, so hence I've done this video. A couple of beers down our little bar. I was going to go live, but once I go live, it's, um, I've not eaten yet. So once I go live, I'm stuck, if you know what I mean. And uh, at least this year I can press the button, stop running, have some food, come back out later on, maybe. And um, yeah, I think tomorrow morning I'm going to get out early, tidy, tidy this bar up, get rid of all the glasses. And I've got some other bits and pieces to sort out. Got to drive around my mates, which is a little while away, and get some karaoke gear off him. Knackered actually. First week back at work and it's shattered. So uh, get the karaoke and take around another friend's house, set up around there. Um, yeah, so getting back to the party. So we went to the party on a Saturday, so Holly was put to that back, back to the Sunday. So we flew to um, Aviva early Sunday morning, and then we flew back because it was put back at that. We flew back on a Sunday. But I must admit, I nearly blew work out. Uh, I was up Monday for work. I weren't happy about it, but I've struggled for the week, it's been tough. So. so it's a quiet night in today, because if you're watching this when I edit it, which will probably be at the right time, which will be the Friday, I think it's 12th of, when July already? Yeah, 12th of July, well it's a bit crap, but um, I think um, if you watch this on the 12th of July when I post it, or 13th, uh, I think we've got the football Euros. England are in the final. England versus Spain. I sort of fancy our chances, to be honest with you. I think this could be anybody's game if we play it a little bit tight. And um, conservative, we play it a little bit boring. 
we won't outplay Spain. I think they're a far, far better team. You look at the stats, the Spanish team, they are brilliant and they've won loads of games, they've scored loads of goals. We haven't done hardly anything, to be fair. We sort of had an easy group, we snuck through to the final. But anyone can win it, OK? I mean, the last game we played Netherlands, we played really well. The best I've seen is playing the, playing the whole tournament, especially in the first half. So, um, so we've got the final on Sunday. Why is it Sunday night, 8 o'clock? I do not know. So I'll have a quiet night in tonight. Barbecue sort of party tomorrow and then football Sunday and then work Monday. Um, I, think, I don't, well, my son reckons we're going to get thrashed. It's going to be 3 0 at Spain. It's, they're going to embarrass us. But I think that the most they scored in any game is four goals in one game, I think, of Spain. They are bloody good, Spain. But if we play a bit tight, a bit defensive, a bit conservatively, you never know. I mean, it could go extra time, we'd get the penalties. I fancy our chances if we get the penalties. Our penalties the other night looked awesome. A couple of nights back, I was in our beef watching that game actually. What a game that was. Our penalties looked smart, but no one wants to go at penalties. But a win's a win. We need to win, we need to win something. I know the women have won, well done ladies. Us men have won a lot, have we? Do you like my bowl lit up though? Looks, I'm looking at the screen there now and it looks okay. Uh, I'm tempted, I'm very, very tempted. Probably won't do it, but could I bring the perfect drive machine here next to me here? Is it be too easy, wouldn't it? Got to walk around there. No, I'll leave it there. It looks on the tide. It's a bit more tied up than you. We pumped a wide in there. I bought something for that. That's that's on that's on an Alexa. That's a bottle opener. That's on an Alexa plug now, so I can turn that on off with the Alexa. I'm really bloody tired. Like I studied at night, really. It's been a tough week. Uh, I need to go fishing, really, get that baby and have a sleep. <laughs> Real rods in. So that's it. Oh, if but I just want to know your thoughts on roundabouts. If you ever see me on the road and you're on the roundabout, please, 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 if you're going right round and roundabout, please, please, please go in the UK, please go on the outside lane, not the inside. So you're not curbside, outside, in the middle. Go to the go to the right and indicate right and go to the round and roundabout that way, please. I'm sick of death of these drivers that are in the inside lane, which is like the curb side, and they decide to go all the way round and round about. Right, so you've got two lanes that are like this, and they're going all, but not only that, they haven't got the decency. Now, we all get lost. I'm doing like a, walk, a, a route to work and back, so. But we all get lost, and I've been lost before, even with all the back centre, and you're not sure what lane to get in, so you're crossing and changing. Have the decency to indicate or put your window down, wave your arm out, I apologise, I'm sorry, 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 I'm in the wrong lane, I need to get over there. But I've, I've been watching on a regular basis, I've, I get some, I watch some dumb ass people that are in the outside lane. Yeah, the outside lane, is that, hang on, what's the outside, inside, outside, inside, outside that, so inside lane, which is the curved side, so they're by the curved side, so they went, they go all the way round and round and round, and you're, and I'm like, you just cutting everyone up, it's, it's dangerous, they're not even indicating half of them. Just cross lanes before you get to the roundabout. It drives me bleeding mad. Absolutely frigging mad. I'm lucky I didn't do a live tonight because I'm really, really tired. I had a little kip earlier, then someone phoned me up. I had a little sleep the other day. The other day. It might have been a private job. A coffee shop phoned me up from somewhere, Birmingham, I'm sorry, but I did take the call. I've got a feeling it was a bit of photography work, but I'm not going that far. Not, 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 uh, well, not, well, depends what the money was, really. Anyway, if you're watching, phone me back. They didn't leave a message, so it might be a missed call, might be the wrong call, but they woke me up. I had a little kip today, and another someone else phoned me up and woke me up about my karaoke gig. But, uh, just, just shut my eyes. So I've had a busy, busy week. So um, the beer's going down. Well, I have another beer. Early night, a bit of food. I tied my flags up out the front, there's ants at the top, ants at the bottom. But these flags are bought, they're not brilliant, they keep flipping over and catching on next one over weeds and foliage, shall we call it, not weeds, we call it foliage. My son's taking the, taking the pee out of my shirts. I never ever ever get ripped off. Um and I thought I'd treat I never really buy clothes really. Well, I used to buy clothes a lot when I was younger, but before my holiday. It must have heard me. Facebook sent so posting on ads about his shirt, his shirt company, his flowery shirt. That's, I think it's all right. Quite like it, but 
anyway, I kept getting bombarded with his adverts. Buy two, get two, three, buy this, do that. Anyway, whatever. So I bought four shirts for, I'll, I'll be honest with you now, over £20 each, right? Which is two of the, I know that. It's free shipping, express shipping. I thought, right, I want them for my holiday. On the old holiday, round the beach and that, round the pool. Happy days, whack a shirt on the holiday. I'll treat myself. So I bought four shirts. And um, express delivery. Happy days, okay, a little bit overpriced, probably 10, 12 quid in Matalan. Bit peed off when you see them on TV or whatever it's called for like eight quid, but you got to pay postage on top of that. But I kept bomb getting bombarded, 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 and there's loads of reviews saying how great they are. And there's, pic there's pictures of people wearing them and that, you know, so people like me, a bit like, a bit chubby, mid, mid, like just past midlife type thing, you know, but I thought, that'll do, nice shirt, because t shirts can't be a bit tight on me. Whatever, so I'll get some nice big shirts to wear for me other day. And um, then the minute I bought them, excuse me, I thought, uh, the minute I bought them, especially if I thought, I've not really done any research with this company, I just assume it's got a nice website. I've done a little bit of research, didn't I? I've done a little Google search. The worst thing was when it said, Right, your your package has been dispatched from China, Shenzhen, blah blah blah, China. What? what? I wanted them for the like. Five days time, six days time from your holiday. No, or it might have been four days. I'm never going to get any time. So I was gutted. I thought, oh, I have to send them back. No good. And then I've done a little bit of research on this company. I won't say the company's name. I've done a little bit of research. There's no, there's no privacy policy. There's no returns policy. The, the contact details were limited. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking the worst here. I'm thinking the worst. And then someone on Google, if you do a Google search, don't use this company, you'll never get them sent back. They want to refund you, they give you a discount. Someone said to them, you can't send them back, blah, blah. They offer you a discount or they offer, you have to pay, that's it, you have to pay for shipping to send them back. So I'm thinking, well, if they do come through too late, I'll send them back, I've got to pay shipping, I've got to pay shipping. Maybe they'll fit, maybe they'll be all right. So I came home and got a bit peed off. I got the neighbour, I saw them turn up on the camera actually, I got a phone over the gate, my neighbour had access, I messaged my mate, my mate Sean next door get me passes for me mate so I did that which is good came home first thing I did because I, I, I like a story I like a chit chat after a few beers you know all holiday I was moaning about these bleeding shirts <laughs> and other bits and pieces as I do uh, it's quite exciting to get in and try these shirts and my son's ate and everyone ate some I like and this is one of the plainer ones apparently this is covered in wacky backy plants or I don't know but I've got another three indoors so I like them but whatever they're alright but they're not worth 20 odd quid Anyway, email this company. They fit all right. <laughs> I think they do anyway. But email this company. I said, look, I'm not having these shirts. They turn up too late and they're a bit tight. They don't fit. So I thought I'd get my money back. I said, but I think you're overseas. They said, yeah, unfortunately we are overseas. Um, you can send them back if you want at your cost. And uh, then she said something about like, we can give you 20% discount. I'm like, nah. I said, they don't fit. Because I thought, I'll tell her. I'll, I'll blag it. I said, they don't fit. These shirts don't fit. I don't want them, they don't fit. They do fit, but I thought, I've got to say something. You know, they could say they're rich or something. Anyway, they don't fit, I want my money back. Uh, you know, you've got to send them back. So I don't really want to send them back. You've got to pay the shipping costs, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, I don't want to send them back. To be fair, I wanted to keep the shirts. So, um, what's she, this woman email? To be fair, the communication was really, really good. They emailed me straight away. And it wasn't, it was, it's pretty good English. I don't know if they got a warehouse out of it. I don't know, anyway. They say, I'll give you 20%, you can have a 20% refund, that was it, you can have a 20% refund, or you can order another four shirts, but you got to pay the shipping. So I thought, I fancy another four shirts. Slip on like short sleeve shirts, I do, I like a fancy funny shirt for down the pub and that, and um, in the summer. And my son's moaning and everyone moaning me, you should have should a refund long. I thought, well, 20% weren't a lot. And I thought, well, nah, it's, it's no point. It's, they're paid for now. So I said, I emailed them back. I said, well, I like the idea of another four shirts because I've already told these don't fit. Um, let's just assume these are large. We'll call them large. I'm not going to tell you what size they are. Let's just, let's, just tell, let's just say they're large. So I said, they don't fit. They're tight. So they said, well, tell you what, pick another four shirts for the right size. Tell us your height, weight, chest size, waist size. We'll send you the correct shirts, the right size, but you've got to pay for shipping. So 
I'm not no, I'm not happy about that payment of shipping. I don't want to pay any more money. I want, I want my money back if anything. I said, no, I don't want to pay shipping. Then she emailed me back straight away. She said, tell you what, we'll send you another four shirts for nothing. We'll pay the shipping. Pick another four shirts. <laughs> and then I emailed back. I'm thinking, I quite like that. So I emailed back. I said, to be honest with you, the shirts are a little bit tight, but I can get away with it because I wanted the same size. I didn't want to go small or bigger. I wanted the same size. So I then I had to retract it. I had to say, well, to be honest with you, the shirts sort of fit, but I would like another four shirts. And I'm assuming she's this person I'm talking to is Chinese and can't, can't quite get it. So they've said to me, pick another four shirts, send us a link to four shirts and the size you want. So I sent them a link to the four shirts I wanted, which were a little bit plainer actually. So it might be a, yeah, well, a bit more out and about. But um, so I sent them a link to four shirts I wanted. And I said, I want this size, which was the same size as a four. I said in my original email that were too tight because I lied. But um, it's not sent to an article. So, so, so they said to me, they just said, right, okay, free shipping, we'll send you another four shirts. And I thought, ah, oh, they're blagging it. And, and oh, by the way, if you like our service, like we view us here on Facebook, I haven't done that yet. But um, so I've got eight shirts for the price of four. Well, I haven't got eight shirts for the price of four because as someone pointed out to me, I was originally overpriced anyway. It sort of proves to me the quality or how much the shirts are worth in the first place, I suppose, but I'm happy. I've got four shirts. Um, sorry, eight. I gave my lap I've got eight shirts. Well, I've got four at the moment, another four coming through for the price of four. Well, okay, that's overpriced, but so I've got another four shirts coming through. So, and the same size. I'm surprised you never emailed back and said, that's weird, you just said that size is too tight or too... You know, we'll have to send you a different size, but I think because of the language difference, and they're really queer with it, so. Um, so I feel like a bit of, I'm a bit of a scammer, but, so I'll sort of scam them, really. I never, ever fall for adverts like that. I always think I'm a bit, little bit clever. I always look at the address at the top for websites, the um, padlock, the HTTPS, which is secure, socket layer, whatever it's called. Um... Your date is secure. I mean, I spoke to a couple of people, your date is secure and everything. Because they go through a third party for that. And the website's nice. The shirts do, they do look nice. The shirts, I think they look all right. This is one of the plain ones. They're a bit flowery and leery for holidays and that. They're worth tenors, I suppose. But if you go to Team or Teemu, or Team U, whatever you want to call it, they are, I saw one of my ones on there for about eight, nine pound. But then if you add the postage on that, you know, I mean, most things are made in China anyway nowadays. So I've got, anyway, I've got four shirts, number four coming through. I left it two or three days because she wanted me to do a review of this woman. And I thought, no, I'll leave it. And I thought, I've ch chanced my army because I think I've got away with it here. Sort of. And I left it about two days. I said, oh, um, have, you, have these shirts been sent out yet? And she, sure enough, she sent me tracking. There's a tracking link there. So I'm, uh, I'm quite excited really getting number four shirts. I feel like I've, um, I feel like I've done them a little bit, but they probably, they probably, these shirts are pretty throwaway. away. They're probably, they're probably worth fivers, I suppose. Two quids. I don't know. All I know is you can't go into the UK shop over here, Matterland, even Matterland, and buy eight shirts for what I paid for for, the, for these. So I'm pleased. So they're all from the same bleeding place. Anyway, that's the story about the shirts. So if you do want to know where I got this from, on the quad, I'll be up. It's uh, uh, let me know. It's only I only sort of blagged it a little bit because I read reviews that I won't be better to sit back and accept four shirts, although they're fitted. It came through late from the other day, my own fault. Although they're fitted, I won't be prepared to sit back and accept four shirts at the price I paid, about £22, £23 a shirt. I felt like I'd been you know, nearly £100 worth of shirts, sort of thing. I thought they're not worth £100 for four poxy shirts. But um, eight, maybe. So I've got one for every day of the week, plus a spare in case I spill wine over it, or someone else spills wine over it, extra pound. Which I haven't before. But um, yeah, I'm quite pleased. That's the story about the shirts. So let me have a little top up. I am going to have some dinner, I think. I keep thinking I'm live and I'm not. I keep thinking I've got to sort of like, I can actually go bib, stop the button. I can't even walk hard, I'm knackered. Oh, that only has done me up. My beef up is hilly. Put that up there. I'll put it in later. These perfect jar, I don't think you can see me. These perfect jar machines. My old mate, one of our subscribers, 
from the old days, Alan Parsons, he mentioned one of these machines. And I left it and left it and left it and left it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I bought one of these machines. They are good. They are very, very, very good. People don't realise. Oh, a bit of a head. Honestly, people do not realise how good this machine is. If you like a beer and you've got a little bar or something, or even in the kitchen, if you're a young lad or old lad or whatever, you like a couple of beers, people do not realise how good these machines are. They look at the price, they think, no, no, it's a con, it's not. People don't realise that if you get a code off someone at all, you get money off, you get a machine, get the old machine, it's pretty cheap. People don't realise, they still don't realise that every keg you send back, you get five pounds worth of credits. Not two pounds, three pounds, five pounds worth of credits. Right? Free. You take, you can get them picked up, from, I've had them picked up from a doorstep before for free. Excuse me, you can drop them off at a shop up the road, or a shop near you. Free. Keep the box, put it in a box, seal it up, get the label, send it, done. I've got a fast express thing, so directly they scan it, I come home, go on my account, so I'll send two kegs back, you've got £10 worth of credits. Effectively £10 off your booze. I've got two kegs there, I've got one there on the floor, Stella, which I took off the up before my holiday. The bud outside, which I just took off. I can put them in a the box there now. You have to keep the box, you can fold it up if you want. Retape it up. I can do a thing on the app. I won't do it yet, I'll do it next week. I'll do a thing on the app, go on the app, do a return, bomb, bomb, bomb. Drop them off at the shop up the road, they scan it, you go home, you got £10 worth on your account straight away. So, and you get credit every time you buy a keg. So the two kegs I bought in the, um, I don't know why I keep going back perfect. I'm not, nothing to do, I'm not promoting them. Well, I am, if you, actually I will put a link below, a little, um, uh, like a code for we both own out of it. But for instance, these two kegs I just bought the other day in the Euro deal, I ain't showed them the glass show, but in the Euro deal, I think I paid 20 cent quid, 28 pound. But these two kegs, but direct, directly you buy two kegs, you get credit. So when you buy the kegs, I think that's right, you buy the kegs, you get credit. You send kegs back, you get credit. So that particular deal there, two beers. And I could choose different glasses because it's, it's a euro. They always do deals with tennis, euros, World Cup, blah, blah, blah. I got a Stein, look at that. I mean, all wrapped up well. Free delivery. I say a Lauren Brown Stein. I think it's proper. It's only worth a few quid, but top of that, what I should do, get a perfect draft machine. Paul. I think they hold 10 litres, six pints. It's not too bad. Maybe they should hold a bit more, but that's enough. Well, you can do that in a session if you want, but if you've got friends around, you do need a couple of kegs. But you got to remember, like, you got friends around, okay, they, they drink, you've got three kegs, you have a party, you've got four kegs, four kegs are empty. 5, 10, 15, 20, you got 25, you've got 20, I don't want to say 24, you got 20 pounds worth of credit. Do you send them back for free? You got 20 pounds worth of new crown. Buy, buy another beer. Wait for the deals, wait for the um, short date ones. Happy days. Hang on, let me just check the. Um... So I'm getting messages here about some. Um... All right, someone's bought my trailer. Borrow, borrow. Someone wants to buy my trailer. Someone wants to buy my karaoke gear. Happy days. Lend, lend, lend. Borrow, borrow, borrow. Show me your beers, people. I did a favour for someone the other day. Diamond Geezer, my old mate Kevin, my old days. I think I mentioned it before. Became a bit of a pain. I had to do some music for his bleeding dad's funeral. Got very stressful that did. I buy the music, do this, do that. I was stressing over that. Get some blanks it is, but golden. Golden geezer turns up two two cases of beer on my doorstep. I thought, you know, two boxes of beer is nothing, but it's just that little fault, you know. I, I, you know, if people help you out, you got to just give them a little gift. That's what I say. Give them a little gift, a little thank you, and they'll always help you out again. I helped a certain person out of work the other day. I won't go on about what happened, um, but no, I never helped again. Never helped again. Never. It's up here. Johnny Boy remembers. It's up here. This could have gone live, really. I might have just see it go live. The difference is that when I get summons for food, I can just stop the camera and rush indoors and watch the telly and say goodbye. Hopefully, I've not bored you too much with my holiday videos, my Ibiza videos. I'll try and have different cameras. So, if you want to get into the YouTube 
or vlogging or YouTube videography. Um, let me know. I've got a Sony. I keep saying this. I've got a Sony ZV-10. I'm not showing off at all. I've got a Sony ZV-10, DJI Osmo Pocket 3, um, an Insta360. Never had an Insta360 Instagram before. Insta360 Go 3S, which is the new one, and a GoPro 12. Um, I've had GoPros for years. I started this channel, really. Um, but if you need any advice, if you are out there thinking oh, I might do a little YouTube channel, blah, 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 let me know what, and I can try and give you some advice. Um, for general purpose, purpose of vlogging, I loved my little um, Osmo Pocket around the, around the um, holiday site. Proper little decent camera, so it's got a built in gimbal. Other cameras will crop in, so when I say they crop in, um, if your camera's wobbling like this, like that, for instance, like a GoPro or the Insta 360 is wobbling like this slightly, it will crop in. So, although the camera's wobbling, the image will be smaller, so be, it will level it out. So, you're losing space. The Osmo Pocket doesn't do that, it's got a gimbal already, so it's, but you still get a bit of movement with it. Anyway, whatever. I'm using a Sony. I'll probably have I said my son earlier, I said, I'm going to go and do a little video down the garden. I said, I don't know what camera to use. But I normally, when I'm doing stuff like this, I normally got the Sony ZV E10, which is in front of me now. Stabilization is rubbish. Um, everyone rates it as a vlogging camera. Everyone, they try to, they try to promote it as a vlogging camera, and all the YouTubers were buying it. But it's, I wouldn't. They got a new model out now, but um, you can, it's got product shake showcase mode. So um, I'm, I switched off at the moment. But you can show something the camera, and it does all that fancy stuff. And a lot of cameras do that now. It's a nice camera. It's large, interchangeable lenses. You can take photographs with it. You can do videos with it. But you're better off on a tripod. The only reason I'm using it right now is because it's got a flip out screen. I'm looking at the screen there now. Nice large screen, and I can pretty much see what's going on, which is nice. With um, the GoPro's got a tiny little screen at the front, the Insta360's got a little screen that flips up. The Osmo Pocket's got a little screen. This has got a nice big screen like this, like a monitor on it, you know. But um, there you go. Anyway, um, if you're watching this video for publisher to be and stuff, please, I've got, I still get it regularly, regularly, once per week, someone joins my Facebook group. It's Life of John. I feel a bit guilty sometimes because nothing really happens on there a lot. People show off their pub sheds and bits and pieces. I sometimes think now, why are people going on there? Because it used to be predominantly pub sheds, pub sheds. And then what I used to do, I used to do lives. And I had software. I paid monthly for this software. I've done um, StreamYard, but I had the paid version. So you could stream it to various um, uh, platforms. <coughs> But because I didn't do so many lives, there's another monthly. I've got a couple of monthly. This YouTube channel, I do pay out monthly for certain things to keep it ticking over. Um, I used to pay StreamYard, but I stopped paying them now. So you get a logo there, blah, blah, blah. But when I paid for StreamYard, I could I could stream a live to um, YouTube, uh, some other places, Instagram, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Facebook, I used to stream to YouTube and Facebook. I don't do that anymore. If I do a live, I just stream to YouTube. So the Facebook page is more of a pub shed like community chit chat um, group. But I wonder if now if people are joining it because of holidays and that. I'm not really sure because like I've been doing, been doing um, the vlog videos and the holiday videos. So are people are people joining it? I don't know really. I don't know. I'm trying to breathe in it. Look, I've got to lose some weight. Get this. Get, get this drinks. Get these drinks out of here tonight. Get the party out of here tomorrow, get the football out of the way on Sunday, then I might start cutting back and trying to lose some weight and calorie count and that. I tried that the other bloody week and it was a nightmare. I love um, I love eating and drinking really. I'm sort of lucky in a way I don't put on loads of weight through eating. I don't eat loads. I think the old beer's my downfall. And I, I got a feeling as well, I thought this the other day, I'm no doctor, I've got a feeling that my stomach, like a lot of old men, I was looking at some guys at work the other day, a lot of chubby, chubby people. And I wonder if it's, your, your, does your skin become more elastic? So and once you eat too much and drink too much, your stomach bulges out. And maybe it hasn't got the strength to bulge back in. So if I lost weight, would it go bing, bing? If I lost weight, would it, if it shrinks back in, at me days, I look slim and fit. Well, not so much fit. And then if I have a couple of beers a week later, would it just go boing straight back out again? Because it's like a bloody rubber balloon. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like it's gone. It's got too much elasticity. When God made us, He was a nasty. He was a nasty person because He made us with this. He made us with like elastic stomachs. I think. 
I'm a regular steak slice eater, but I ate a steak slice and my stomach just goes to boing. Chipman just mash and barbecue rice numbered, boing. Chinese, boing. And um, I'm trying to lose, but you got these all inclusive holidays. I didn't eat loads on holiday because I'm a bit of a fussy eater. But the food of that place was really, really nice, to be fair. And I tell you what, it was a bit hilly, and we was all sort of moaning about how hilly it was. But I came home and I actually felt quite good. I mean, you're coming out for breakfast and you, you are sort of walking off. You feel a little bit. It's, you're not just having breakfast, going, you know what? I'm a fat slob. I'm just going to walk from there to there, sit by the pool all day and drink beer all day and eat food all day and snacks. You are actually making an effort, which is in a way, although no one wants to admit it, deep down I thought, you know what? It's quite good. It's quite good. That I've got to get up from the pool top pool if you watch that video i get up from the top pool walk down quite a little walk to the bottom pool to the restaurant and, and have some food and walk back that's quite a lot at least you've done a few steps so actually when i looked at my phone i actually had actually done quite a few steps which i think was quite jolly jolly good that was and then when you get to the top pool you go oh thank f for that and then you sit down and you go Beers, oh, I want to tell you something, actually. Have you heard the term, right? I'll put this out in there. Have you said, right, comments below, people. Up the ramp. Get up the ramp. Up the ramp. Your turn, up the ramp. Has anybody heard that term? Because I had a bit of a discussion with my family. Not one person in my family had heard of the term up the ramp, get up the ramp. It's your turn, up the ramp. So much so, and I get so wound up and stressed over it, I end up, I'm thinking, am I going mad? Is it a local village thing that I'm brought up with, with my lads, with my mates in the old days? So I was so much so I had to email, oh, sorry, WhatsApp, one of my brother-in-laws. I say, oi, Frankie boy, if I say to you, what does up the ramp mean? What does it mean? And he messaged me back straight away. Done. And he knew what it meant. He knew what it meant. But is it an East End, is it a, a, a village thing? Well, is it just me and my mates or am I making it up? I don't know. No one in my family had heard of it. Up the ramp, what are you talking about? I thought, what? It's a common thing. When I first met, a quick story before I go, when I first, it's weird, because when I, you fit, you're brought up and you just think things are the norm, the norm. Years ago, years and years ago, my dad always used to have a roast dinner. We had Sunday roast, old school Sunday roast. When my dad was alive, bless him, and my mum, she's still about. And he'd always have a jar of pickled onions on the table, so pickled onions. So my dad had pickled onions for his roast dinner. So then I started having pickled onions for my roast dinner. I'm, you know, and for years and years, pickled onions. But then I met darling Gillian, and she started cooking for me, looking after me. She don't anymore. <laughs> she does, she does. And then we had a roast dinner. I said, oh, pick, where's the pickled onions? She, she went in, she like, what? And I remember her mum and dad, what? No one has pickled onions at roast dinner. I said, well, of course they do. Everyone has pickled onions at roast dinner. And when I say everyone, my family did. My mum and dad, blah, 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 my, my sisters. To me, having pickled onions with roast was the norm. To her, she was shocked. No one has pickled onions with roast dinner. What are you talking about? I'm like, what? And then what I asked about, they're like, no, you're weird. No one has pickled onions with roast dinner. I'm like, don't they? No, you have pickled onions with fish and chips, not your roast dinner. I'm like, well, I thought everybody had pickled onions with their, with their, with their roast dinner. I'm on my second beer now. I can't remember why I'm talking about pickled onions, to be fair. Why am I talking about pickled onions? I can't blame remember. And that was... <laughs> I was talking about the norm. I'm talking about normality. That's it. I'm talking about things you think are the norm. Like, if you've been brought up with, like, gravy on chips... I oh, know that's a normal thing up for Norwegians, anyway. But I'm talking about up the ramp. Do you know what up the ramp means? Is it a, is it a village people thing? Am I inbred? Just me and my little mates know about it. My and my brother-in-law, and I, if I reckon I could email or message, or what's, I don't know I can say email. I reckon I could email, I'm saying it again. I reckon I could message WhatsApp, or SMS, no one does that, WhatsApp. Even friends from the old days, that I sort of know on Facebook, but they, they do it with cartfish, so we keep in touch. From the old days. But I said then, what, what does up the ramp mean? Up the ramp, get up the ramp. Straight away they'd say, oh, it means that. Apparently I'm a geezer, changing the subject, I'm a geezer. I went into the restaurant in Ibiza. Well, I call it a restaurant, like, you know, the all-inclusive, walk around, grab your stuff, help yourself. Oh, you're a geezer, aren't you? We'd watch the football, we'd just won the football. Come out there, all right, mate, bump yourself. We're all, like, celebrating. All right, mate, how you doing, mate? Grabbing our food, like, walking around, grabbing our food, celebrating. Oh, you're a bit of a geezer, you're a bit of a geezer. I said, am I? No, I'm not a geezer. 
Yeah, you are. You're a bit of a goon, is not you? I think it's a northerner or whatever. I'm trying to, I think it's trying to be funny. I'm like, nah, I ain't a geezer. Just no person. Yeah, bit of a geezer, isn't you, boy? Bit of a geezer. Ooh, what are you saying, are you? Say how you, bit of a geezer. Why am I? And I thought, maybe to him I am a bit of a geezer. I don't know. I thought it was a compliment, I must admit. <laughs> None of us think we've got accents. Well, we have, we've all got accents. We all speak differently, but none of us think, we, we all think we sound the same, but we don't. When you meet other people, even even in Essex, you've got different areas in Essex. You speak slightly differently, I suppose. Um, Tau, the only way is Essex, I think, gives, gives us Essex a bit of a bad name. They're over the top, that's, I mean, a lot of that's made. I watched one a day for now, I got in work early, I was flicking through, there's nothing on before I fell asleep. I haven't seen Tower for ages, the only way is Essex, Essex for ages. I think there's an old one. Must be because you had Arge on there, the GC, Gemma Collins, you know, whatever. And the stuff they're coming out with, it's not normal. It's not normal Essex. Stuff. We don't talk like that. We don't say that shit. We don't talk about, like, well, whatever they're saying. It's just like, nah, we don't do that. I think people come to Essex, they expect you all talk like the only way that they've done happen. A bit, not a lot. A lot of people from Essex are from. Uh, East End of London, I think they'll come down from uh, my family from Edmonton and all that way. West Ham, innit? And all that, you know what I mean? Arsenal, Tottenham. Let's have a top up before I go for some food. I keep feeling I'm live and I'm not, which is happy days for me. Excuse me. I'll just do what I want when I want. Edit this video, edit this out, edit that out. Not a problem. Any food yet? No, no summons yet. That's good. Right, don't forget, another reason I'm using this camera, it's more of a professional camera. And it doesn't overheat like some of the small little cameras do. Ah, even Johnny Boy. Right, don't forget people, if you've got a little bar, get these little puppies. I said to you before in an old video, old, old video, Amazon, I'll put a link below if I remember. Amazon, you get a box of like, I think I've got 20 of them or 10. This lasted years, this have lasted, I think, one or two years. They even come with batteries, CR2032 batteries in the bottom. Get these. Get your family down, get your mates around, and um, switch these puppies on. Talk about puppies. I've got another pair of Crocs. Excuse me. I spoke to someone at work today. He's got his first pair of Crocs. I've got. He's got love all over. I've got to sort my glasses off. I've got to sort his glasses out. I'm sweaty and hot. Love all over. Crocs. Mate of mine at work. He's left now. Well, he's sort of, well, he actually got sacked. Another story. Put your put your throat around your manager's. Put your your hand around your manager's throat. It's not a good thing to do at work. Uh, <laughs> I won't mention his name. Mate at work. Gave me a pair of Crocs. I didn't fit size nine. So I had them. Lovely. Brilliant for fishing. Green. Just plain green. Brilliant for fishing. Stick on off in your bivy. Sit on sit off. Well, these are nice, these are comfy. And I'm a bit of a child at heart, so I don't know if you've seen my video with the headlights, of all the headlights. And I've worn them down the pub, the headlights, quite funny, really. But um, anyway, I've got a pair of crocs. Well, these are bloody good. They're made of rubber. You wash them, slip them on. I hate wearing the socks. Especially with my chubby ankles and sweaty hot feet. I, I, don't, I don't like the socks. I can't stand socks. Let me chop this beer up. Um, so I thought, right, I think last year before... Oh, she daughter said to me, what do you want dad for Father's Day or, or Christmas or whatever? Said, you know what darling, get me a pair of Crocs because prices fluctuate on the old Crocs. So she bought me a camo pair which I like. I bought them for fishing but they're too nice for fishing really. So when we're playing green, actually, actually while I'm here, ah oh, my back. Oh. There's all them puppies. <laughs> and they nice. There's a story about these I want to tell you. So, so she bought me this pair. My daughter bought me this pair. Camo. So I've got plain green and I've got, got camo. And then, um, oh, just slip them on. I've never ever, I think that's called speed mode or something. I've never ever like that. I always like that. I drive in them and all sorts. You wash them, clean them, do what you want with them. No socks. I'll wear them down. <coughs> Tell another story, mate. Let me just get the top up. So, that's it. Right, 
I should have gone live really. I'm actually talking to people there, so they're talking to me bleeding myself. Oh, no change there, Johnny Boy. Right. Any food yet? No, I don't know what's happening there. Alessa, so what's the time? The time is 7.27pm. Oh, I might as well have done a bleeding pub at this rate. But this is bleeding 12. So, let's just check my phone first. Any incoming messages? Um. Cheers. So my daughter bought me this pair, camo flies pair, and I thought I've got a green, dark, like the normal plain green, I've got a camo pair. What's that a bit smarter? So I bought a creamy pair. They come up and said, always buy stuff in a sale. I told you before. Always to get stuff in a sale. Crocs vary from 25, 28 to 40, 45. Up and down the price, up and down, but get them in the sale, get them in the sale. And a, a creamy pair come up. Well, that's nice. They're a little bit smarter, a little bit, it's a bit of me. I wear them down a pub, I wear them all the time. I mean, I'll be going to parties and I'll be wearing them. I'll go out Sunday night for the football, I'll be wearing them. I've got trainers. Put socks on and trainers, lace ups. Oh, leave it out. Um, I have to wear safety shoes at work, so I actually drive to work in the morning. I put my socks on in the morning because it's pain in the back, so I put them on at work. I put a little pair of socks on at work uh, in the morning and then I put my Crocs on. I have been look, looked at before at the petrol station. Crocs with socks, but don't care. Fuck with me. I'm, I'm, you know, life's too bleeding short. Why about that? Get to work. Put my social shoes on. Before I come home, I take my boot, my shoes off. Not boot, the shoes. I take my shoes. I take my socks off, and my feet go. Ah, thank you, Johnny boy. Thank you, Johnny boy. And then I put my Crocs on. I drive home with Crocs and bare feet. Lovely. It might be illegal. I don't know. But it's lovely. Lovely. By the time I get home, I'm so relaxed. Best thing ever. Best thing ever, Crocs. If you haven't got a pair. Ignore the naysayers, get a pair. And then I just bought another pair. I think I'm going to wear them tomorrow Sunday. A blue pair. So I've got I've got a green pair. I've got sliders, but the sliders are tight on the bridge. I took them on holiday. Downside about Crocs. One downside about Crocs is they don't compress and squash. So when you go on holiday, I took a pair of Crocs, a pair of trainers, and a pair of Crocs sliders. They don't squash, they take up space. You know, so if you've got two pairs of Crocs, they won't, they don't squash in. So I've got, I'm going to show off now, I've got a green pair, a camouflage pair, a cream coloured pair, which are nice, they have like these smart ones. And then they came through today, £28 from Amazon, because they had a bit of a sour one, a blue pair. I mean, my son's got blue or black, but a blue pair. Me, pl me playing smart ones, they fit lovely. But what I was going to say, the reason I'm talking about Crocs, the sizes are up and down, up and down, but I've sort of sussed the sizes out now. I saw a little note on uh, somewhere, Amazon or somewhere, that the sizes vary depending where you buy them from. Once you get your right size, keep buying the same size. But they're made all over the place, right? I've got the pair on, I've got on now. Oh, these ones. Ah, can't get them Right, that pair there, these are from Vietnam. Made in Vietnam. Made in Vietnam. If any member of your family should die whilst in the shelter, put them outside. Remember to tag them first for identification purposes. Is that is that the right? I'm not sure. Anyway, Vietnam. I've got a pair in there, Indonesia. I've got another pair, China. My son came round last night and he had a pair. They were for some. Right, if you've got Crocs, have a little look underneath. Put a little comment below, please, just to tell me where your Crocs are made. I'm assuming they're all using the same mould. You know, they must have these moulds and just press them out somewhere, but. They're pretty cool, and they massage your feet and everything. And if you're watching this video thinking you're talking about the backside, the Crocs are rubbish, they look awful, give them a go. Give them a go. Amazon at the moment, I've got a little sale on. You can get them, I think I bought this for 28 29 Free delivery. The Crocs site on Amazon. The only thing is with Crocs, I do, I do get a lot of ads for it's coming from Facebook ads. Sale, sale, sale. But it's never in your size. I think in the UK, uh, Sports director, someone's doing them. Someone is like cheap, but they're only certain sizes. The sliders, be warned, the sliders, a bit, they rub on the bridge, they're not the same. They're better because your feet are more airy, better volatile, but they're not. Because you've just got this rubber strap and your toes are fr um, out in the fresh air, but they're not as good. These, are just, you're just loose. Loose, loose. And I've been to restaurants and these before, a bit naughty, but. Well, not posh restaurants, I'm talking pubs with a. 
bit of food out the back. They think they're restaurants. They claim to be restaurants, but it's not. Well, not talking up London. I don't hold up London with them, especially this colour. But fishing are ideal, sports are ideal, on and off the beach are ideal. Don't go near your local pub. You know, on the plane, you, you take these on the plane. Um, you just, you know, you're on the plane. Funny enough, a young lad next to me on the plane coming home had a pair. You just, oh, you slide them off so your feet are breathing in fresh air. You know what I mean? You ain't got these sweaty socks and shoes on. But let me know if you've got Crocs. Let me know if you like Crocs or not. I'm not talking about the look of them. Just the, I think, you know, I've got a pair. I've said this before, I think. I've got a pair at every door in my house. So I can just slip out the front, the side, or the back, through the bins, answer the door, come out the back garden, and I can slip Crocs on. Green pair, camo pair, cream pair. And now a blue pair. So I've got sort of got a pair for every occasion, really. Black, don't, I'm not sure I'll go with black, because blue will do that. Blue shorts, blue shirt. I don't, really, I don't know, I need black. But if I come through in a deal, 25 quid, I'll have a pair. I'm sort of all out. I'm a bit gay, really. I can't really buy any more. I've got them all. But you get the headlights as well. Make sure you get the headlights. You got the headlights. I put a video up years ago, a little short with headlights. They are brilliant. And, they, and all joking aside, that is a proper, proper safety feature, the headlights. It's not just a gimmick. Um, I was a bit upset. <coughs> I bought some headlights for myself last year. I bought the CR2032 battery, I think it's called. Battery ones for myself. And my grandson was laughing. He was two at the time, two and a half. He was laughing. So I treated him to a pair of headlights because he loves Crocs. He's got about three or four. I think my grandson, actually, is the only person I know more Crocs than me. So I'm a bit upset. But he has got, I bought him. I treated him. I'm a bit annoyed actually because he's my little favourite. I treated him. And he's only he was at the time he's three now. I think over three years old. But he was two, two and a half, and he laughed at me. He didn't want the. I, I, I thought I gave him his headlights and he just didn't. I'm mean, actually a little kid. He's like granddad, granddad. No, it's childish. So I'm a bit gutted about that. When your grand, when your two and a half, three year old grandson laughs in your face and says, "No, they're childish," then you know you know you you've lost the plot. I love me little, not now at the moment because it's light in the morning, light at night, but when we get proper summer in a month's time, it starts getting dark at night, doesn't it? You, this summer now, it's not, it's when it starts getting dark at night and you have a go down your pub, you're on your own, you flick that little button, you got flicky mode or you got proper headlight mode. You put those headlights on, you are laughing, you're safe as you like, although you can slip out of these and go off the curb. Another story. I've got a few too many beers. I'm going to drink this beer and say good night. I feel like I'm doing a live, but I'm not. So I can edit what I want out of this, which is handy. You might not even see the clog set, clog sex, the clog, clog. You might not even see what percentage beer was that. You might not even see the clock section of this video. I might delete it. I watch this back and go, what is he talking about? Delete, delete. Oh no, video left. If I delete every shitty bit of my video, if I delete every section of the video where I spoke rubbish, you wouldn't have a video. You, you won't even be watching this. Hello, goodbye. Um, yeah, so these are Maddie Vietnam. Vietnam. Condemn them. I had a, I think it's Indonesia. China. I don't know where else. If you've got Crocs, look at their soul. Put a message below. Do you like them, yes or no? Where are they from? Just out of interest. I think they're all the same size. I've looked and all mine have come through the same size lately. Why is I sus with so? These say 10, 12, 10 men, 12 women, but actually size 9 UK. So, they must have been something. Yeah, I like, I like them. Oh, yeah, I like them. Well, <laughs> honestly, Crocs. Oh, I was going to swear with them. Winter. Oh, winter, no. Socks and shoes. Ah, Weddings. Funerals. Nah. I went to a wedding last year. We stayed over. First thing I did, got the suit off, got the tie off. I left the suit. I think I left the suit on actually. No, I did. We've just come back from holiday actually. Went to a wedding, all tanned up, brilliant, perfect timing, all tanned up. Come to the wedding. Suit the boot, done a wedding, blah blah. blah in the garden, lovely, lovely weather. Straight back to the room. We had a room overnight, hotel sort of thing overnight. Straight back to the room, stripped off, changed, uh, short sleeve shirt, shorts, Crocs. Straight back in the bar. Happy days. Feet again. Oh, lovely, lovely, chubbly. You can't. Oh, Crocs. So that's it, people. Oh, it's so comfortable. 
I want to wear my blue pair tomorrow, I think, at the party. Or Sunday. I do like my cream pair, though, the cream pairs. Just a little bit different, you know. A bit of a ladies, not a ladies colour, because we're all equal now, aren't we? There are no pinks, and, but I like pink. What colour should I get next? I'll tell you what, if you like and subscribe to this video, you could send me a free pair of Crocs. Crocs, are you watching? I'm promoting your shoes here. Um, what colour want? I'll have to check out the colour schemes. I think I've got I've got blue now, cream, camo, and green. I haven't done any other colours. I like my cream pair, they just look a bit different. Uh, I don't know. My blue are nice, my son's got blue and black, they're nice, but a bit plain. A bit a bit sensible, the blue. If I go out to watch the football Sunday, actually. Oh, I'll tell you what, I could do headlights and crocs. I wonder if I could, the white lights, I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could put a red film on one light, so I've got red, white, red, white, red, white on the, on the headlights. Got me thinking now, are we going to win? Are we going to win? Spain are good, I said earlier, Spain are good. I'm going now because I've got to watch this blue video back all the way through and edit it. I could just publish it, but I've got to edit a bit out and cut a bit out and it'll take me ages. Probably people don't realise when you do this video, it's not just this, any video. If it's an hour long video, you've got to watch it for an hour, edit it for an hour. You know, the longer the video, the more editing. And then you get 10 views, happy <laughs> days. Well, I'm going now, people. Happy Friday, because I think you'll see this on the Friday. You might not. Don't forget, Crocs, tea lights. And a perfect draft machine. And I'll be honest with you, I will put a link to some Crocs below. It might be an affiliate link, I don't know. To Amazon, because they've got a sale at the moment. And the tea lights and the um uh what's the most important thing? The Crocs, the tea lights. Oh, and the perfect draft machine. I'll put a code below if you fancy it, get some money off. Because they are good the machines. It's a bit of an outlay. I think the, the old machine is still good. I've got the old machine. I think it's one one nine something. Couple of quid, I suppose, but whack on the credit card. I'm not condoning you getting debt, by the way. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday, people. And if you watch this Friday, I think it's 12th of July today. Uh, yeah, it's Friday, 12th of July. So if you watch this Friday, 12th of July, or Saturday, 13th of July, please feel sorry for me if I'm drinking too much at the party. But uh, let's, fingers crossed for the football on Sunday, the uh, 14th of July, 12th of April, yeah. which will be 14th of July. Like it's not on the foot. Probably why they didn't hold it Saturday, 13th. Um, fingers crossed for uh, England in the Euros. But I'm glad we made it to the final, to be fair. So it'd be good to see us in the final. So we win, come on. But if we don't, we do, if we do, we do. We don't, we don't. Don't drink too much. Working on Monday morning. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Happy days, people. Click the like button. Apparently, it helps with the algorithms. Thank you very much. Happy days.